There's a shot by LaRock that misses that. Rebound comes all the way back out, and we've got too many men on the ice. And the Oilers about to go in the power play. Two from the south and two from the north. Oh, and Tisdale is hit behind the net. He's down. Got hit in the head and went down. And referee finally blew the whistle, but uh, Tisdale's not a happy camper. The other way, and now Carrillo works on uh, Freeborn who comes in. Now he spins. Liam Freeborn plays it back to the point. There's a shot. They score. That deflected off something. I think it might have been off a Kodiak defender's skate. Tucker McCray with the shot from the point and deflected by the Kodiak's netminder. And let's see if I can get a look at it on the in-house replay. It's going to be tough to see, though. But yeah, I don't think there was any oiler there. I think it went off a Kodiak defenseman's skate and into the net. Changed directions. And uh, if, in fact, that's uh, Tucker McRae's goal, would be his third of the season. And the Oilers have a 1-0 lead. And the puck is knocked away from him. Now Jack Works is hammered there by Lane Brockoff. And that's going to be a penalty. Now Works comes out in front, and Brockoff knocks him down again as those two continue their battle. Charging is going to be the call against Brockoff. Rebound goes to the corner. Now grabbed by Pasemko. Waning moments of this power play. The Oilers firing shots. Tip, they score. It's a power play goal for Jack Works. That'll be number 37 on the season for number 25. And again, a shot from the point, again, a deflection, and uh, again, no chance for Tisdale as Works was parked right there at the side of the net, had a gaping, empty net to put the puck in, and it will be considered a power play goal. And the Kodiaks now lead, or the uh, Oilers now lead this one 2 to nothing. The only game that Mackenzie Welke has played in the season series, and in that uh, first period, Welke was six for nine in the faceoff circle. So they do, uh, they did miss it. And now the Oilers score, and that'll make it three to nothing on the far end of uh, from the broadcast location. And it looks like Liam Freeborn might have banged that one home up and over top. The net miner Tisdale. And the Oilers are now up by three. Laskowski with the puck, shoots towards the net. There's a shot saved by Parker of Granberg, who had an opportunity. Kim able to keep it in. Now to Pasemko. Penalty coming up as Pasemko looks to have taken a stick in the mouth. And so. Kodiak's about to be shorthanded here. And now they're trying to get a look at Masemko, who went uh, straight to the bench. And it looks like this is going to be four if I count all the fingers on Mason Stewart's hand. Side of the net. Coming out in front. Shot. Save. Rebound. It's underneath. The Kodiak's net minder, and now some pushing and shoving at the side of the net. The Kodiak's trying to relieve all the traffic in front of their net minder off that exchange, and looks like the orders are getting a penalty out of this. It's going to be a slashing call. And so we'll play some four on four hockey here for a couple of minutes now. Gets the return pass through center, docked away, and here's a break for Cam McAdam. Here's McAdam, short-handed breakaway. McAdam walks in, he's hooked from behind. What will this be? Mason Stewart, yes, penalty shot. McAdam hooked from behind on the short-handed opportunity, and he will get a penalty shot. So that comes with 42 seconds left in the owner's power play, and Cam McAdam on the break. 
Well, have an opportunity here to get some momentum for the visitors. Penalty shot. Have to say that's the first of the Kodiaks this season. I can't remember another one. Here's Cam McCannum, takes the bucket center and goes wide left. Here's McCannum walking in with speed. Goes to the backhand, saved by Parker. The way to Roche Setaguchi. McCannum took it away from him. And now is hit from behind by Roche Setaguchi. That's going to be a penalty. And the Kodiaks will go on their first power play of this hockey game. So McCannum has gotten a penalty shot. He's now drawn a penalty. And getting some looks from the panel for the hardest working Kodiak domination. And I think the Kodiak's about to go on a power play here as Lovson was dumped at center ice. And it's going to be a tripping call against Moravec. With the puck, he tries to come out in front, tries to get a shot away, knocked down, spun around. And there's a penalty coming up. Now, who is it going against? Condor got spun around with Pasemko, but it was Condor who was holding his face. And uh, I think it might be Pasemko who's going. Yeah, looks like it. Those two got tangled up, and the stick goes up into the face of Condor, and the Kodiaks go right back in the power play. It's Becker. Becker brings it up ahead. Now it's stolen. In comes Machado, scores. A giveaway on the near side boards, and it's Brandon Machado who comes in and slides one by Tisdale. And the Oilers now have built up a 4-0 uh, lead. Not sure if there'll be an assist on that. I don't think so. And not the start to the period that you were looking for to start a comeback. Condor. He'll flip it up ahead, but it's caught and brought in by Freeborn. Shoot, save, rebound. Oh, what a right pass save by Cole Tisdale as he robs Gib Cody in front. Another North Division matchup, and we got a penalty called here. Maybe two. Yeah, it looks like they're both going. Season in Camrose. Final game of the regular season for the Kodiaks, at least. Now, penalty coming up to the Oilers, I believe. At least Gao had the puck, but uh, I'm going to call it roughing, and uh, let's see who it is against. in the Oilers zone, but I think the penalty is coming against the Kodiaks. It was Gao who had the puck, though. But yeah, it's coming against Carson Welke, I believe. Stop made by Tisdale. Whistle sounds. We get some pushing and shoving at the side of the Kodiaks net. We're seeing more and more of this as this game continues. We'll take a break. The Kodiaks down 4-0. Now to the face-off circle. Dick to Hagen, walks in, pass across, shot, saved by Tisdale with the left pad as he stretched over and made the stop on the one-timer. Now Parker, back for Works in the corner, tied up by Kincaid, Pasemka with it. He turns, now Works, tries the wrap around and scores. Power play goal. Their second of the night. Jack Works gets his second of the night. And his uh, 38th of the season on the wraparound try goes in between the legs of Tisdale. And the Oilers have put up a five spot with 5.49 left to go here in this third period. Wide around the defense. A backhand shot through the crease. Now we got a hullabaloo on the far side there. Right in front of the Kodiak's bench. Carson Welke's involved. Looks like Morrison is involved. Connor Brock, I think, as well. And now this will take some time to sort out over on that far side. 
comes with exactly four minutes left in the third period. And so uh, I think they're uh, going to discuss Mason Stewart, Mike Stinn, the officials for tonight's hockey game. And they are now going to decide who gets what out of this. Not sure who Morrison was tied up with. Carson Welke will be headed to the box, I'm quite sure. Along with Morrison, Carson Dick. So again, all comes with four minutes left in the third period. To Granberg, to Carrillo, across to Brockoff, to Fraser. Fraser in front, Laskowski shot, scores! The goal streak continues. The shutout is broken. And it's 5-1 Oilers. Cody Laskowski is is 34th of the year on the power play. And a nifty setup. And the Kodiaks break the goose egg, make it five to one. Laskowski scores in his seventh consecutive hockey game, which is the number one streak in terms of goal scoring streaks in the Alberta Junior Hockey League. He's now got a nine game point streak and moves up the ladder. In terms of uh, most goals in a regular season by a Kodiak, he now has 34 and passes Joe Goldburn on the list. And now we've got another penalty called against the Oilers, and the Kodiaks go right back on the power play. He'll bring it out to center. Now taken away, and the Oilers with a break. Here's Dylan James, walks in, shoots, saved by Tisdale on the breakaway to go here in regulation. Here's McAdam after the puck. He'll get it to Gow in the corner. He's tied. Now Zimmer comes in to try to move it. And now they uh, tangle up and we'll get some more pushing and shoving. They will get them separated. off here 42.6 seconds left to go zone and that is going to do it Oilers are going to win this one five to one the post game show coming up this is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiak's Hockey on New Country 98.1 FM and online at newcountry981.com